Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we went to Vermilion City, and we fought Lieutenant Surge, got our first badge in Kanto, which I'll go ahead and show off right now. Very beautiful. Of course, it's the third badge, so you might notice that we're not going to be going through these gyms in order. They're going to be in just whatever order you explore at. You can do a few of them in different orders than say any other playthrough but uh there's a lot of freedom they give you with this entire second area so uh play around you came out from johto you can zip back home by hopping on the magnet train cool um so there's a magnet train now that con connects kanto and johto but before we do that there's a little bit of a side quest that we need to do to get on it there's something i wanted to do because i changed my mind in the last episode, we picked up Silverwind. And I said I didn't want to give it to our ace because we already had, I, I preferred the rock coverage. I have decided that's kind of silly because we literally have a rock type to use rock moves if we need it. So I'm going to teach Silverwind to it. I'm going to get rid of Ancient Power, of course. Also, Ace is going to be learning some good moves coming up, which it desperately needs because its only stab is U-turn, which is, you know, it forces it out of battle. Not ideal. So we're going to be getting some better moves for it really soon. Get really excited. Ace is going to be a lot more useful. And really, it's the only one so far that, or at this point, that doesn't have a, honestly, stellar moveset. Don't call me Uncle Psychic, Mr. Psychic's house. I wonder what we can find here. So Saffron City is the biggest city in the Cantor region uh, by, you know, it says that, but it's not really. It doesn't have the most to do. I got it. You wanted this. Wow, that took some convincing. We put TM-29 to our pocket. TM-29 is psychic. It may lower the target's special defense. Very, very good TM. Uh, Top Spot already knows it. I don't think there's anyone else that I'd want to know it. I don't think anyone else can even learn it, but it's worth checking out because it's, you know, the most powerful of all of the psychic type moves at this point. So let's just check it out. See if anyone can. Ace can learn it? Ooh. Ooh. So what would that enable? It It's already going to have advantage over fighting types because it's flying. Uh, Psychic was also beat Poison, which, yeah, I guess we don't really have any types here that are super effective against Poison, given that it's only uh, ground type in this game. Or er, ground and Psychic. Uh, well, you know, Top Spot has Earthquake, but there's no stab types. Wait, no, with Top Spot has Psychic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's interesting. If you have any Pokemon that can learn it, might be worth it. But of course, I have a Psychic type on my team. Not exactly crucial. Let's see what else there is to do in town. In city, rather. There's a place called Trainer House in Viridian, where trainers gather from all over the place. Interesting. Trainer House, huh? Sounds like something we should check out. Chomp Choo. The manager of this power plant used to be a repairman in a small factory. Choo Choo. His hard work has taken him up the ladder to eventually become the manager of the power plant. Chew gulp. Quite impressive, don't you think? Huh, I'm full. Something of note in the Pokemart of this area. You check the, I believe it's bottom person. They sell. Nope, it's the top person. Oopsie poopsie. One of the best balls in the game. Dusk balls. And I'm pretty sure there's other places that sell these as well. I have 29 in my bag. Yeah, there definitely are. So, yeah, they're here. If you need them. Rob, isn't it? Got a package for you from your mom. Oh, I needed that. It's very important. You probably, yeah, you have more stuff. Cassib berries. I don't know off the top of my head what exactly that does. Super potion. All right. All right. Keep them coming. Silk scarf. That incre increases the power of normal type moves. Uh, what? items are we all holding right now? Black glasses to improve crunch. Mystic water. Shell bell. Amulet coin. Quick claw. King's rock. 
So I could give that to Napalm, actually. That might be the play here. Ooh, that is an idea. Let's see, I have to get used to all this. I'm sure I don't need to mention it, but it's been a hot minute since I recorded this. But everything's ready to keep on going. This is the power of normal type moves. Heck yes. That'll improve the power of double hit by a ton. So absolutely. Uh, King's Rock can go to... You know what? It'll be a really good move for Yanmega soon. So how about that? Any other items? Oh my goodness, you do. Moonstone evolves a few Pokemon. Need Arena, Need Arena, Clefairy, Jigglypuff. That's it. Uh, does it evolve? It evolves Muna, but of course that's not in this game. I think that's it. There's not a lot. Of course there's also a gem. Went to the gym, rearing for, ba for battles against trainers. Turns out I stumbled into the unused gym next door. Boy, I was pretty embarrassed. Yeah, so there's two gyms here, oddly enough. It's a fighting dojo. If you go in, it's, uh, it's abandoned. Hello, Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for further training. I believe we met him. I want to say it was, uh... Oh, jeez, what's the name? Is it Mount Mortar? Is what he's in? Don't know. Our city was featured on a radio show. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing, too. Oh, don't I know it now. This is the train station. We'll check it out in a hot second once we have a pass. Hello, just when you least expect it. Oh, well, I gotta. Sure. This is gonna be our first picture in Kanto, right? Gotta take it for a commemorative photo. Plus the whole team here. Is that six? Yeah, someone was standing in front. For some reason, I thought it was another person. Hello. I need to find the Pokemon Center. This is the house of the copycat girl. She's so good at being a copycat of the way people talk, it'll... That it'll confuse you. Okay, that was hard to read. It'll confuse you. So she likes to copycat people, huh? Going into an alley for the first time makes me sort of anxious. Okay. Are there alleys here? There's alleys around the surrounding roots, but not in Saffron. Ooh, look at that Blissey. So if you come here in the Generation 3 games, Fire Red and Leaf Green, this Blissey will actually be a Chansey. They actually have continuity there, because uh, Johto does take place a few years after the Kanto games. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the name, nickname Copycat around here. What about you? My daughter is unique. She would make friends and her mimicry would scare them away. She only has a few friends. How good is she though? Sounds nuts. Also, she has a bayonet. Poké doll looks just like the real thing. Oh, it moved. It's a real bayonet. So, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, she had a Doe Duo? And this is weird, because in Gold and Silver, she had a Doe Drio. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they gave her a bayonet instead? Hi, do you like Pokémon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm. Quick mim quit mimicking? But that's my main hobby. Okay. Anything else to say to us? All right, guess that's it. It's a Clefairy, huh? All right, it's a Clefairy Poké Doll. I was very sure we had something else to do here. Huh? Interesting. Well, that's fun. Aha! We cannot do this yet. That is a that is a request for a later date. And of course, you have the Silphco office building, where uh, it's famous for Pokemon merchandise. Well, I think it's infamous for being probably the most annoying dungeon in the entire Pokemon series, because, oh god, I hated teleporting. The elevator there is out of order. Something's wrong with electricity and it doesn't work right. Does the- oh. Okay. That evolves a Porygon, if you trade it holding that item. Very neat. Again, you have to have friends. This is Silphco's head office building. Yeah, the electricity's out everywhere. We keep hearing that over and over again. So uh, that might be something that gets resolved in the future. Uh, although that would also mean that, mean that the magnet train is not working because electricity. I think that covers most of the city. I think all that's left is to check out the gym. Alrighty. 
I think I'm ready for a gym fight. This is a... Uh, oh, Saffron City is just a entire city full of bad experiences, I think. Because if you're a kid playing this game, it's very hard. Teleportation puzzles is kind of the entire theme of the whole place. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Yo, legend in the making. A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic-type Pokémon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Of course, Ghost, Dark, and Bug is what you're going to want to bring in here. So there's a series of teleporters that takes you to a series of trainers. It's been the same, like, if you've played Generation 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's all the same. All the same puzzle. The power of all those you've defeated comes to me. So I might as well show this off. Uh, top spot's in the front, of course, because top spot not only resists Psychic, but has Crunch, which will increase the power again. Oh, this is a generation where Steel is still resistant to Dark. Oh, I do want to... Okay, so Bronzor can either have Heat Proof or Levitate. I'm gonna take the gamble. It does not have Levitate. Gotta love it. I want to say that maybe all trainer-owned Bronzors have the ability Heat Proof, which of course gets rid of their resistance to- oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're ridiculous. Okay, well I outspeed anyway, so that's fine, I'm just gonna crunch. Just to confirm my suspicion of- yeah, Steel-type didn't stop resisting Dark until, uh, Gen 6, was it? Because they really wanted to nerf it? And then they gave it some more offensive power by making it super effective against Fairy. Hypno. It's warned against Earthquake. Okay, interesting. I'm still gonna crunch you. In fact, I don't know. I'm sure I did the calculations a long time ago, but I don't remember if Crunch or Return does more damage. Because Return's just so ridiculously powerful, plus of course you gotta consider Stab. Okay, my attack sharply rose. If I can... Uh, I'm about to sweep real easy if I have anything to get rid of that. I have a full heal. Uh, what is the red flute heal? Infatuation, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a full heal. Cause, uh, I want that power boost. Not that they're gonna have very more Pokemon, but yeah. Choose your battles. Skill swap, uh, that's gonna give me Forewarn. Oh, that super dangerous Psybeam. Gotta watch out for it. All right, get out of here. So I do know the solution to this gym. After several, several years of struggling with it over and over again and finally taking the time to learn it, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta, like, dedicate yourself to knowing the answer. There's several answers, by the way. It's not just one path. Just know the answers, and you're good. So we're gonna head straight up here. We're gonna go to the left right here. There's no trainer, good. Here we're gonna try and go downwards. I'm gonna set run to off so that we can maybe sneak by. Beautiful, no reason to fight any fights we don't need to. And then I believe straight down here as well. You know what? Give me some experience. In fact, I wanna see if I can throw out Yon Mega against you and maybe get it to level up because that would be really good for us. Yanmega is not too close to a level up, but it's close enough. Slowpoke, okay. I can deal with this. Um, I'm just gonna... This probably won't knock it out. Slowpoke's a bulky boy. I'm gonna lower it down, and then I'm gonna swap out to Yanmega. Remember, just in case you forgot, okay, it's dead. I guess it's not evolved, so that would make the difference, wouldn't it? We have this set to set, so we can't swap out. That's fine. Although that's a whole entire slow bro. Yeah, just keep crunching. That's gonna be the strategy. If you don't have a dark type, by the way, uh, good luck. Or bug type, I suppose. Holy moly, that did nothing. Well, you know what? This seems like a free chance to try it out. Gotta love that resistance. Does return do more damage? Again, I'm sure we figured this out many, many other times. Not against a super effective Pokemon. It's just about the same, in fact. Their slack off. What does that do? Half? That heals half? Get out of here. Crunch. Now is that a move that doesn't let you move the next turn? Okay. No, it's not. Wow, this is going to be really annoying. You know what I'm gonna do? 
just because I don't want to deal with this. Uh, do I have, I have an X attack right here, baby. Oh, first and only time you'll ever see me use it. Isn't that fun? Is it going to heal again? Yes, it is. So I think we should be able to easily do over half of its HP and just whittle it down. It's not going to use Slack off this turn. I'd hope not, at least, because it's at full HP. We'll see. How about that? What does that do for us? Also, we are pretty on par with levels. Yep, way more than half. And there's a yawn. I just realized Slack off and yawn have the same sound effect, huh? Just takes them using the same moves two, two times in a row to realize it, I guess. There's the crit that we needed that entire time. Cool, so the X attack was pointless. Good to know. Well, neat. Though I read you, I still lost. Anyway. Cool story. Uh, this should be it. Look at that. So that is the only square in the entire gym that warps you to the middle. There's not like two correct answers. There's multiple paths to that square, but you have to land on that one specific square. Uh, I'm gonna move Ace to the front. First of all, to get that amulet coin boost. You love to feel it. Uh, and I'm gonna heal up a little bit here real quick. Oh, we got hyper potions on hyper potions on hyper potions. We're good. Neat. Let's do it. Maybe I can get some silver wind boosts and completely sweep. That'd be neat. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Again, really good music. I love it so much. Just the extra mile they went, just changing every single song that you would hear in Kanto. Starting out with an Espeon, I'm not sure if this bad boy has synchronized. I don't think it'll have its hidden ability magic bounce, which is good. Uh, not that it matters. I'm just going to hit it with Silverwind and try to get those boosts. Ah, they had the same idea. Okay, also it's a good amount of levels a lot higher. Yeah, even though most of the Kanto gyms are around the same level, they they can range in between like a level of 10 levels or something. No, no boost there. Ugh, this is scary. It's already got its boost going. You really don't want to let it happen. Uh, am I gonna... Oh! Okay. Alright. I thought Ace's special defense was not terrible, but... That'll prove you wrong. Um... What do we... Ugh. Confuse Ray, like, if it has Synchronize, not Magic Bounce, obviously, I don't think it does. Uh, its physical defense is going to be lower. I'm just going to have to straight up throw out top spot and hope it can do the damage that it needs to. It'll resist Psychic, so we'll have a little bit of an advantage there. I'm so sure Sabrina's going to use all of her healing items on this Espeon, though, after it's used Calm Mind. I don't even live two hits. That's crazy. I want to say this is their ace. And it's dead. Because physical attacks. Yeah, I guess Silverwind wasn't the smartest idea. I probably should have just straight up U-turned. Oops. If I had just U-turned, I would have done physical damage. I would have gotten him out. Alakazam. A stinky level 55. Here's the thing. If you hit it, it's dead. But I do not outspeed and there's no way I'm living a psychic. Alright. Alright, bud. Man. So Alakazam's defenses are pretty dang low, especially its physical defense. Um, so I'm just going to have to go to Napalm. What is your... I want to see if you are faster than Giraffe Rig or not. So 121. One ni or just 90. Alakazam's pretty fast, but I don't know if it can outspeed a 121. I'm going to go for it because I think a double hit will just about knock it out. We can hope. I do have payback. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. How much power is payback? Because that's not the one that... If it attacks after the foe attacks, the power is doubled. So I basically need to hinge on whether or not I attack first. I'm just going to use double hit. Okay, I should have used payback. 
Joke's on me. Napalm, please. Napalm, please. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Napalm definitely- listen. Let's not mince any words. Napalm would have lived that. What do you have, Nan? Nothing really. I could try to paralyze with Body Slam. Let's go for that. I'm gonna have to start using some revives in this battle real quick, baby. Uh, yeah. Reflect, that'll increase the, or decrease the damage done from physical moves, which is no big deal. I just want to get a paralyzation. Please don't two-shot me. There's no way you two-shot Bud. This bulky, bulky boy. You don't. You thought. Please. Please. Okay. I want to say it's like a 10% chance, so it's not like I'm playing with like a really super easy thing here. D are you- okay. Alright. Hey, just so you know, Psychic does not have a high crit rate. I mean, ugh. Well, I know at least if, like, Giraffe Rig can take one hit, it'll definitely knock it out. I mean, even at that, at that rate, Yanmega might be able to. Hold on, I want to check this real quick. Actually, no. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to revive, uh... Okay, use a max revive. Who cares? Just gonna max revive top spot. Because, you know, there's still a third Pokemon. Man, Lord. Yeah, Sabrina just... Oh, of course you have Energy Ball. Good. Sabrina just has some sweepers. That's it. Which is weird, because Psychic-type tends to have some defensive boys. Wow, I'm very surprised that didn't knock me out. Um, well, there's no reason to sit here and do nothing. Let's see. Yeah, I just might, might as well use another revive. Uh, probably on Ace. Just in case it's able to take a hit from something else. There's the Psychic. No, it doesn't have a ton. I think Psychic's 10 PP, isn't it? The reflect were off. Good. Time for crunch. In fact, if it uses uh, reflect, I might be able to kill it through the reflect. I might be able to do that. Like I said, it's not bulky. Okay. No, not at all. Not even close. And you have a citrus berry. Of course you do. Well, now I'm not even going to come close. Good. Oh, buddy. Hmm. It's everything that's possibly inhibiting me here is inhibiting me. Do do do. Yeah, just gotta attack it. Energy ball! Because it's not resisted? Is that really worth it? I guess so. Yeah, it's not gonna kill either. Okay. All right. So I can't get a paralyzation after three body slams, but you can get the special defense drop with energy ball. Watch it heal. There it is. Can I at least get the defense lower with crunch? Or is that a thing? Maybe I'm dumb. Disgusting. It's almost half. Man, I was debating whether or not I should have used a X attack. Guess what? I should have. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I think Yanmega might be able, I mean, it's a, it's a gamble. It couldn't take a hit from a boosted Espeon, but could it live an Alakazam Psychic? Because if it can, Silver Wind will be the way to go. And if not, we have Daisy in the back, so whatever. Using Energy Ball again. See, like, I, I don't even know if I would have been able to survive an energy ball at full HP because of that defense, special defense drop. Um, so I'd probably just use Psychic on Daisy and knock it out immediately because Daisy's special defense isn't particularly wonderful. Yeah, I'm just gonna Silver Wind. Yeah. Skill Swap. Remind me what you're getting. 
Okay, I, I have synchronized, don't I? And now you have... Oh, what did Ace have? Com not compound eyes. Oop, we are you turning out of here. Oh, you're kidding. Another one. Another one. That's fine. Also, still no boost from Silverwind. A little aggravating. Over ha- Oh, uh, oh. Uh. That wasn't a crit, so now you see how low its physical defense actually is. Um, okay, well, wish I used Silverwind. Hey, Daisy. Do you want to take one hit? Just one. That's all you need to do. Flamethrower will probably knock it out. Please. Please. It's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, beautiful. Daisy is gonna be the one to kill the psychic type gym. Not my psychic type, not my bug type, my fire type. Cool, that works just as well. A so close to that level up. Mr. Mime, probably the least of all these threats. What will happen after this, I already know. You lose. Uh, so we have a full HP Yon Mega. That's gonna be another fat revive onto our boy top spot. Mr. Mime doesn't have nearly as high of a special attack as Alakazam. There's a reason they gave it an evolution. So all's to see now is see if I can coax any other moves out of it. And also get the Silverwind boost, please. Although U-Turn would do a ton more damage. Not a fairy type. Keep that in mind. Does not, uh, it's not, okay. You had to do that, huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna U-turn out this turn, then. And then I should be able to knock it out with a U-turn the next turn. Oh, God. Get me up. Mimic, are you about to use Silverwind? Or is it learning Silverwind? It learned it. That, that kind of sucks. I hope Giraffe Rig doesn't get knocked out in one hit. Oh, it will. Oh, it will at this HP. And you know what would be even more fun? Was the future I saw wrong? No, I'm telling- Listen, I'm gonna tell you what's about to happen right now. You're going to use Silverwind. What's the speed of these? Oops, I didn't mean to swap out. You're gonna use Silverwind, it's gonna be quad not very effective. You're gonna get the boost, and you're going to just sweep me. That's what's gonna happen right now. Look at that. Look at that prediction. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna use another U-turn. There's a Psychic. Can I live it? Probably. Because it's a Mr. Mime, first of all. Yeah. Easy. Easy every time. I told you. Cool. Looky there. Mr. Mime fainted. Ace got 771 experience. Still not to level 47. And top spot's 48. That's okay. I get it. Yeah, I get that money. More like. There's that amulet coin coming into power. Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it wasn't, is it possible to fully predict where the future holds? Okay, you win. You earned yourself the marsh badge. Don't, I don't, listen. The marsh badge is an enigma to me. I don't know what the marsh badge has to do with any kind of psychic powers. I failed to accurately predict your power. That means that your power is beyond my psychic ability. You deserve this. Please take this TM too. And we got TM48. I don't know what this is. I think that was actually psychic in Let's Go Pikachu. Skill swap. Okay. Because you had to... Yeah, okay. Uh, that's an interesting move. I'm sure Girafferig can learn it. Hold on. Let's see here. So skill swap will swap your ability with the enemy. I want to see who can learn it though. Obviously, there's, like, unfortunately, there's no Pokemon with a just absolutely terrible ability that we have that we can just swap it out. Um, Slacking doesn't learn it. Top Spot can, that's it. And Top Spot has, what, Synchronize? Every, because all Psychic types have Synchronize. Yeah, it's a, not a lot of Pokemon learn it. I wish a lot more did because that would be very fun competitively to just, like, give your opponent really terrible, terrible moves or abilities. 
That was another fantastic battle. Yep, it was very fair. They used four stores, I used max revives. What can I say? Oh, mother. What is up? Hello? Oh, hi, Rob. How are you? Found a useful item. Yep, yeah, okay. We know the deal. Well, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. That is two gems, two videos in a row. We're making good progress. Uh, in the next episode, I'm trying to think. We kind of had choices right now. We can go north, east, or west. Uh, whatever we really want to do. I will decide that in the next episode. See you all then, and goodbye.